Hi everyone. I am now here with uh, two of my fellow travelers who are coming all the way down to South Africa with me. And uh, we have lived together and worked together over a number of years. And so we, we have gone into this journey that some people call spirituality quite deeply. And it's our joy to come in a very transparent way and just let the presence extend through us and be open to being truly helpful, however the Spirit directs. So I mentioned that um, we're going to be bringing movies, some great, great metaphysical movies, possibly movie clips as well. And uh, so I have with me Francis Zhu and Jason Warwick, and maybe we can just go into a little bit about um, what inspires us and what, how we've been working. Mm. You want to start first, Francis? Yeah. Hi, everyone. I. Um when I first met David um, and Jason, um, it was when I was um, facilitating a, a Course in Miracle study group in Sydney, Australia, and talk about the book and try to really understand what the book was saying. And Jason came to the group and really introduced the practical application that they have come together to practice and one uh, the guidelines that they were using at the time um, were no private thoughts and no people pleasing and that just uh, really attracted me because I thought that was very radical but deep down I had this desire to not protect and hide anything and just be truly authentic and also just want to um, yeah I guess not really live my life out of fear or pretend pretending to please other people but really um, get in touch with this deep love that is authentic and really um, yeah just get in touch with that and so that's where I get started and when I involved with um, the group of friends here in Utah we really just use everything that com comes up in our daily life to you know you know bring the lesson and the forgiveness into the mind so it's just been really amazing for me and in this trip I really hope that we can um, share all these learnings and all this experience that I have learned over the years with you and just to really demonstrate that you know there is light there's hope yeah Jason's been very very inspired with using movies and movie clips in healing the mind. And we have a Movie Watcher's Guide to Enlightenment as, a, as an entry point. We even have one online, but uh, it's wonderful to come together with people and, and see movies and use movies in a very new way, a different way than people are used to seeing movies. Yeah, yeah it's kind of even a build on from what Francis was saying, like, like using movies to share the learnings and teachings that, that we've been given in a very non-personal, helpful, inspiring way. Like I just got back from a trip to Canada where I got to visit a few of the biological family members and all of these movie clips were coming through my mind like the whole weekend and I just kept using all of these parables from all these different movies because they're like locked in my mind visually, like they never go away. The titles sometimes, but the scenes and they can always be used to demonstrate, like Jesus used the parables of the prodigal son, or the man who sowed his fields, or what do you do when they finally come up, like all the different parables. We have our modern day parables from movies like Transcendence and X-Men, and all the ones that maybe you've even avoided because, oh, it's just Hollywood. We're like, no, we can use Hollywood movies sometimes even in better ways than than the ones that are traditionally spiritual because we see a message in there that is so powerful. And to share that and have it be an inroads into some of the deeper nuances of unlearning that we've had, I'm, I'm really inspired by that. And I'd love to join, so thank you. Yeah. And the tool that a lot of us got into spirituality in a very deep way, A Course in Miracles, for some of you that there'll be an introduction to these just very, very profound ideas. Um, the Course itself you know, with Shakespearean blank verse, and and uh, it can be difficult reading for some. 
Uh, it's, it's very, very direct and very, very deep, so there can be resistances, but that's why it's helpful for us to come there. We like to extend it from our heart and live the presence, and actually there's a simplification that happens when you come into the, the present moment, and so that's much of the gift that we have to offer. And also with using a lot of different um, tools, approaches, you know, we've, we've, like most people, gone through different spiritualities and, and really in the end it, it comes down to an, into an experience of the present moment. And that's really what we want to join with everyone on. We're not really set on fixed paths or fixed words or terminology. Uh, it's de definitely a meeting of the minds and really a heart experience that we're having and it's beautiful how that really transcends um, all the differences of the world and so for us coming down there and, and just joining with you in that experience you know that's really the calling of our heart that's that's what's drawn us down there we did have a beautiful man named Henry Theron who came up he's the Afrikaans translator of A Course in Miracles and he's been in correspondence for some time with us and he actually came Northern California to be at a, a conference of, of translators. It was very joyful. Stopped off to visit us and live with us for a, a few weeks or a short time and, and then go back to South Africa. Another friend, Elizabeth, uh, has come and, and lived with us down in Mexico for a while. So she got a really good taste of that experience of what it is like to to live this, to, to have spirituality at the center of your life and, and have everything that you think, say and do come from the heart. And that's great experience, you know, that's what we want to uh, impart, that's what we want to engage with you. So we're very excited and again our tour itself, the dates are around December 4th officially to the 24th, Christmas Eve, and it involves you know, pretty much the major cities of the country, Cape Town, Johannesburg, Durban, and Moorfield, more centrally, uh, a week-long retreat that's kind of the culmination of everything we do. So, and we will have uh, Kirsten Buxton with us as well. So, between the four of us, there'll be time for one-on-ones and, and just casually walking, talking, you know, there's, it's a nice, relaxed atmosphere. We always feel there's a spaciousness provided by spirit to really go deeply. And we, we just thrive on that. You know, that's the way our lives have been. So, isn't this exciting? Here we go. Amen. <laughs> Look forward to seeing you. Yes, we're yeah. coming your way. Very, very shortly. <laughs> <laughs>